know the quickest way to end a fist fight? Don't use your fists. In this challenge, grab stuff, spin it around, and whack enemies with it. You can grab objects, enemy weapons, even other enemies. Every hit scores a point. Approach the prompt when you're ready. Throw practice. Nice. I'm ready. First time I fought Electro, my suit had exactly zero insulation. Every hit I landed felt like picking a bug zap. Did I win that fight? By throwing every tug, pan, and fully automated five way go mixer in sight at me. Goodness, we were fighting an attention to my school. He needs to write a memoir. I've seen some things. Okay, yeah. Windmilling people? Very satisfying. Heads up. Range enemies on the beat. Then I feel that in my delts tomorrow. Miles, welcome back. You know the drill. Take down all the enemies without getting hit. Remember, get hit three times and you'll have to try again. Step into the circle to get started. Time to dodge. Airboxing! 
Awful idea. Awful. Time runs out. Did I ever tell you about the time I chased Mysterio through Oscorp at Thanksgiving Day Parade? Man, that was a challenge. One launching off giant balloons while dodging the imaginary yet still terrifying wing baby demons? That was like three hairs on your spider chest, I'll tell you what. Wing baby demons? Actually sounds kind of dope. Keep going, you're almost there. You just turned me from Spider Man into a Spider Fan. Ultimate level work here, Miles. things up, shall we? This challenge will push all your movement skills to their limit. Approach the prompt, and we'll get started. Fast and loose, let's go! Some people say they get their best ideas while they're in the shower. I get my best ideas while web swimming. But the other day, I'm cruising down nine, catching the glints of the Hudson off my right shoulder. Seeing fits the city over my left shoulder. I think pizza on a bagel. If you put pizza on a bagel, you could have pizza way more often than we have it right now. Probably. Man, that's a good one. You can impress myself sometimes. That? No. No. Not even gonna touch that. Checkpoints are active at once. It's up to you to choose the fastest course. Approach the prompt, and we'll get started. Bring it, Pete. I'm ready. <laughs> Making choices is what this hero thing is all about. Stop the car thief or the bank robber. Rescue the hostages or defuse the bomb. To excel. You gotta see not just the move right in front of you, but the one after that, and the one after that. It's tough as heck. That's the job. The more you practice, the sharper your instincts will be. And those instincts are the foundation you build everything else on. Hone them. Trust them. Love them. Pete's right. Gotta practice so I don't even have to think about it. Might have beat my time. Ready for another try, are we? Remember, the faster you take out enemies without being seen, the higher you score. One time, at a fist lot in Queens, I still 
so far. And when I got done, the place was a literal ghost town. Like I had picked off every single guy, revved him up, and hit them so well that I couldn't find them when I was finished. Crazy. I must have gone into like a fugue state or something. I was sort of proud, but then Yuri had to call in a search team just to find the guys I had still with him. So, let that be a lesson to you, young man. It is possible to be too good at stealth. Great power. And all that. Sometimes I feel like he just makes these stories up on the spot. being spotted to win this challenge. Time is a factor, so move quick. Zip to the prompt to get stealthing. Hostages, eh? Sounds tense. If you listen to Jonah, you might think that I'm only in this gig for the attention. Costume Crusader cohorts for cameras. But I'll tell you what, the anonymity is what I really like. Helping people is always a good thing. But helping them when they don't know who you are? Helping just to help? Yeah, that's where it's at. I think that's why I love stealth. It's ego-free heroism. Doing good, just to do good. It's a nice way to think about things. I like that. You'll never get away with this, evil holograms! I knew you'd save me my... Um, Spider-Man? <laughs> Amazing. Love. Threat analysis. Neutral. Multiple disturbance detected. Great takedown. Very strategic. I know my hero will save me! That was ultimate speed, ultimate reflexes, and ultimate spidering. Your ultimate miles. guy plan like a bunch of bombs waiting to explode. Defuse all bombs to win this challenge. Move quick to increase your score. Zip to the prompt and we'll start. Okay. Let's defuse some bombs. <laughs> if you lure guards away from the bomb, you can defuse it without being seen. Passive detection sensors. Possible intruder. Duty of a takedown. That'll leave a mark. Possible destruction. Diffuse. Nice. Keep going. Auditory alert. Great takedown. 
down. Very strategic. I wonder what people think when they see me doing these challenges. Oh, there's Spider-Man, stealthing holograms. That's totally normal, not weird in any way. It's safe. Good work. Still more out there, though. I feel these bombs are fake, but this is surprisingly stressful. Body light over here. Some echo stall. Alert. Evidence suggests possible auditory disturbance detected. Possible disturbance detected. Challenge to these next time. Want to make a big entrance? Here's a secret. Put a little mustard on your takedowns and they'll hit multiple enemies at once. That's a big entrance. A little mustard. I like that brace. Gotta use it sometime. Oh, wow. Oh, you finished all the challenges. Guess there's nothing to do but release the super secret bonus ultimate challenge. Head to ESU. If you dare. <laughs> wow. Wow, evil laughs are so much harder to pull off than they seem. <laughs> oh, man. He's right. Do bad guys take classes in this stuff? started school here? Step up to the prompt and live the story for yourself. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> On the very first day of class. Oh, back you in the currency, Spider-Man! <laughs> Sorry, that's my best vulture. Oh, we had fun with this. Vulture's old research partner, Greg Bestman, taught at ESU. Vulture tried to take Bestman out. I tried to stop him. I'll tell you what, Miles, this fight was hard. Man, this fight is serious! Always meddling, Spider-Man! Why won't you let me commit my senseless, overly dramatic crimes in peace? I feel like Pete's working out some stuff with this Vulture imitation. I'm old! I'm old and I hate you! Tough fight, but he was weakening. Then, just as I thought I might actually win, Vulture's eviler twin brother showed up to help. No, uh, actually, he broke it. Was he lost? He was barely winning. Man, he felt like two vultures. Who? Oh, fight's no joke. How does it feel to be a metaphor for you to an experience? Vulture number two. Great vulture number one. I love being illustrate the importance of facing yourself during a battle. How long has Pete been making this? Hey, Vulture number two. Where should you buy a bird? I've been waiting for the bird jokes to come out. Why are we so evil, Vulture number two? Oh. Oh. Free Hey, what? Right! Curses! You've defeated the other me! Right! Get to Oh man, all that are so fun! Now! He's right! Get me going! Mike taught me I'd always be a kid from Queens at heart, but I could carry that strength anywhere. To Manhattan, to the West Coast, heck, even to Sincaria. Weird to think, but I owe it all to an old man in a bird costume. 
I should really write him a thank you note. Anyway, nice work, Miles. Holographic spider training officially complete. That was some great training. Kudos to Pete on super clean combat design. <laughs>